Hey guys, how you doing? It's day eight of the Purple Cow Arts and Crafts Advent Calendar. Let's see what we've got today. Okay, here we are for day eight, and it's another lipstick sized one. It sounds dumb, but this one feels kind of springy, like there's a spring inside. So let's open up and see if we can guess what the craft is. Ooh. There is! There's a spring! Uh oh. Well, this concerns me. There's two plastic beads and literally a spring. <laughs> Ooh, I, I can't guess. Let's open the book and see. Okay, so today we're making two things, hopefully, which are a metal wire star and a metal wire heart. The materials in the box were the metal wire and the beads. I'll put them back in here so they don't roll away. Some extra stuff you will need. A red pen, white paper, scissors and a glue stick. As we know, I don't have glue stick, but I have glue mouse. Here's scissors. Red pen. Okie dokie, so the first things first is to stretch this wire out completely. <laughs> Trust me, it's stretched out, it's very long, you get a nice lot. And you want to cut it in half. So here it is. So you are going to need scissors that can cut wire. Let's see if these scissors are good enough. Oh! Ow. Okay, okay, they cut through, but you have to use quite a bit of force. <laughs> so, half of this metal is going to be for the star, half is going to be for the heart. And I say let's do the heart first because the heart is going to be easier. Let's see if we can stretch it out a bit more. I have never done metal work or wire work before, so don't have much faith that this is going to look very good <laughs> mm. but maybe I'll enjoy it so much that I want to do more in the future who knows so first things first we want to make the heart um, I'm just sort of fold it like this and kind of create a <laughs> a heart shape um... Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it off with the shorter end, just wrap it around a lot and then shape the heart. And this, oh, <laughs> and this, this bit goes at the top because uh, this is going to be the hook that we hang it on. So, <laughs> we need to somehow just sort of shape this into a heart shape. Um, this may take a while. Shall we do a... Shall we do a musical montage? Let's do a musical montage. This might be the best that I can do. Um, you can't really get a sharp point with this wire. It doesn't want to do the pointy bit of the heart very well. Um, but I think this might be the best that I can do. <laughs> Without like pliers and a lot of time. So next we make the hook that we're gonna hang it on the tree from. Here we go. So that is your basic heart ornament. Now they did say you could make a little um, love letter to hang off it using glue and paper and a red pen. I don't really want to do it, but I'll walk you through it. I'm going to use some spare paper from a previous craft. This is day five, if you're curious. <laughs> and I'm just cutting, I'm just cutting a rough rectangle. <laughs> And we're going to fold it in half 
and on one side you're gonna draw your love letter thingy I'm gonna draw a heart because that's what they said to do but you can draw whatever you like here's your heart and then you would put glue on the inside and stick it on your heart like this but I don't want to do that so <laughs> I won't be doing that. <laughs> okay, so next up is the star. If you struggled with the heart like me, I feel we're gonna have real problems with the star. <laughs> so here's our second bit of wire. Let's, oh, straighten it out. <laughs> I have so much respect for people who do metal and wire work at this point. <laughs> so we're basically going to make a star shape. I remember what a star even looks like at this point <laughs> you know when you think you know something and then it's like no okay this is sort of a rough star shape I'm gonna oh, oh wait no before you seal it off you're supposed to put the bead on I've got two beads so I guess really I could have put one on the heart couldn't I if I wasn't gonna put the uh the love envelope well, I'm gonna put bead on it just sort of gets stuck there, excellent. Um, <laughs> so we'll go with that. <laughs> so now we're gonna wrap, wrap it like we did the heart. And re-angle our star a little bit. So, you know, weirdly, from where I'm looking, which is not where you're looking, the star looks better <laughs> than the heart. Um, <laughs> but there we go. Then we have a do the hook again, and uh, there's my star, <laughs> and there's my heart, <laughs> and those are today's ornaments. So, shall we rate them? Right, value for money. Well, I give you a spare bead, which quite frankly, I think I'm gonna put on the heart ornament. Let's do it. There we go. <laughs> they give you enough wire to make two ornaments, which is quite nice. <sighs> for me, the craft didn't take too long because I'll be frank, I'm not trying too hard, but I imagine if you really wanted to try hard and really make it look nice, you could spend a bit more time on it than I did. Uh, they do look a bit basic. I mean, some people are into that basic look. I mean, let's let's, let's add the, the little thingy on here. This is uh, this is how they would look. Um, you know, some people are into that. I'm not so much. So I think for me, I'm going to give this one a four out of five for value. Next is completeness of kit. Um, you needed paper, red pen glue and scissors you don't really need the paper or the glue or the red pen to do this because like i'm not going to use it so all you really need are the scissors my scissors um pretty tough boy scissors if you're using safety scissors i don't think there's a way <laughs> that you could cut the wire with safety scissors so i think you'd have to find some proper heavy duty scissors for this one so, uh, or you could just make a giant charm, I guess. Just choose between the star and the heart. Um, but I think for the fact you do need some heavy duty scissors, I'm gonna give this one three out of five because not everybody's got heavy duty scissors. And finally, dexterity. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> this is what I achieved. I'm pretty able-bodied. I, I imagine if you had more time and patience, you could make something a bit more exciting. But the outcome of this really does depend on how good your motor skills are. It wasn't hard to bend the wire, but to bend the wire into the right shape, uh, you're happy with. It's hard to mark this one, because the craft itself was actually quite easy. To get it to look nice is a different matter. Uh, I'm going to give it 3 out of 5, um, just because it's really up to you on how you want it to look. Should we go hang them on the tree?
Well, thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. I'd love to know what your favorite part was. If you could leave a comment in the comment section below. What shape would you have made out of the wire? Would you have included the heart letter? If you could like, subscribe, turn on all notifications and share this video, that would be amazing. You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram, TikTok and Freds. Links will be in the description box below, as well as links to my online comic companions and my Patreon. And I'll see you tomorrow for day nine. Bye!